Okay, all set to go. Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Arias. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. And a bunt towards third. And foul ball. Next offering down in the dirt. Full count. Swing and a miss struck him out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Manny Machado up to the plate. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Now moved to first, and he's back in easily. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. There's a ball. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. And yeah, the right-handers 3-1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Kim, the runner at second with one away. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. First and second, one out. Now batting Jerickson Profar. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runner edges away at second. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. In this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal of third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you've got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Second and third here. One away. Oh, great stop. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. Well, with the runner in scoring position right there on second base, that dive prevents a run, but on top of it, you get it out. I'd be happy with just preventing a run. Nice job right there. Here's Xander Bogarts. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Falling Whoa. behind 2-1. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. On the ground to the left, Bay. Zips it to first. That ends the frame. A run, a hit, and a man left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Padres one and the Pirates nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, and today's starter, you Darvish. He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. We go to the bottom of the first. At the plate for Pittsburgh, keep Ryan Hayes. So now one and two. A 
And that misses off the outside edge. Two balls, two strikes. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Snuck the fastball by him. G1 Bay will hit next. One down, base is empty. Ball. And there's a ball. Two, two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Back here at the ballpark, and the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. To the right side, Johnson on to first and quickly one away in the second. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jackson Merrill. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. And now it's three and two. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Now here is Luis Campusano. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Merrill stands at first with one out. He's gone, he's gone. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Ball misses. Throw to second. Great jump. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job of controlling the running game. And that's throwing over. That's stepping off. Doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment. Or guys are going to be running all game. And he takes it himself for the out. Fernando Tatis, the next up for the Padres. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Tatis waits. In the air, left side. Sawinski has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it. And the inning is over. Padres leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. Back here at PNC Park, here's Rowdy Telez. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. He flexes his power with that swing, his 13th home run of the season, and we're level. It's 1-1. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Edward Olivares. This one popped up. Darvish moving under it. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And yeah, there's ball four. four. This is Joey Bart. Still two and two after the foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Bart tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. So up next, Michael A. Taylor. Strike two. 
tied up here in the early going. And that one in the air center field makes a nice run of catch. And that's the inning. Cannonball coming. All even now at 1-1. This is Padres baseball on the show San Diego. And welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy Luis Arias. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. You know, these Padres do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. In the dirt. Gathers and throws to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. The one two. Fouls it back with two strikes. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. The next oh, offering God. misses. Two and two. Two, two now. And another oh, ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Going to count one and two. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Fouls it off, still one and two. And the right hander deals. Runner on the go again. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, he had that base stolen as soon as he broke for second. Such a huge lead. The pitcher's got to find a way to help out his catcher, especially if he doesn't have a great throwing arm. Step off the rubber, shrink that lead somehow, create a little bit more time where maybe you can prevent that stolen base. Payoff pitch. And ball four to a board. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Move to second. Tag, and he's picked off. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. It's a pitch out. Throw to second. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. The 2 going, 1. Going, Rudder going. goes again. Roll to Rowdy. He'll do it himself. And that is that. Back here in Pittsburgh, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Termar Johnson. Inside three and two the count. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting key Brian Hayes. His first at bat was a strikeout. Payoff pitch. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. 
Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Throw over to Cronenworth. And there are two down. Brian Reynolds here. Fly to left his first time up. Ground ball up the middle. The rise. Throws to first. And they take care of Reynolds for the out. Welcome back. It's Xander Bogarts now. And the pitch. In the dirt. Tosses to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Number 35. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Next one just misses, and it's three and two. And a swing and a miss. Two down. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now, Jackson Merrill. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll. First offering, runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second, great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Holderman picks over. Merrill back in on a dive. The 2-2. Two -two. Runner goes again. To the right side. Johnson. In plenty of time to first. That's out number three. One left for San Diego. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here at the ballpark. And now here is Rowdy Telez. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that, it's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Righty delivers. And that one missing oh, low. To third, Machado. Zips it across. Yeah. Two up, two down. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. The pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back here at PNC Park, ready now for the fifth inning. And here is Fernando Tatis. Rips one to right. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Luisa Rise stands in. That one misses. And a count two and one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. He steps on the bag, one away here in the fifth. And the batter now, Ha Sung Kim. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that back. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Manny Machado to bat next. Tatis stands at third with one gone of the inning. Liner. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. 
The run scores from third. It's 2-1. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Ryan Barucki getting ready to go. Ryan, the right-hander, loosening up as well. The pitch. Base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Pickoff throw, and he's back in safely. At the belt deal, and deal, fires. Deal. Run around the goal. Right side. Gets it to first. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Joey Bart now. And that's just foul. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. him swinging it's a strikeout he notches strikeout number 150 this season he had him out in front which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field just couldn't sit back long enough on that one so digging in michael a taylor flied out his first time kicks and fires fouled off he was late And down on strikes. And there's two down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And now, Jermar Johnson. Here's a 1-1. This one in the air center field. Merrill has this one sized up. And that is the third out of the inning. And 1-2-3 go the Pirates. They're down. Back here in Pittsburgh, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off Xander Bogarts. The next ball. pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. And that's outside. That's to third, and it goes just foul. An uncharacteristic mistake from a really good defensive player. Here comes a pitch. Got him looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. That misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. And a foul ball. 3-2. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. So yeah. now one and two. Up the middle. Throw not in time and he's safe. Got himself in great position and couldn't have played that one any better, but just stood no chance with that great speed running down the line. Holderman throws the first. Merrill back easily. He's 
digging go. in. Luis Campusano. Throw to second and great jump. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets it. Runner on the go again. Pitch is low. Throw to third. Save! Merrill at third with two away. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Up the middle. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. And the runner is in to score from third. Bad mistake there. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. On the mound now for the Pirates, Ryder Ryan. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year, typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Run around the goal. Pitch misses. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game, and that's throwing over, that's runner, stepping runner. off. Rudder goes again. Rocketed out towards right center. Taylor flashes the leather on the run and catch. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Top of the order, due up in the home half. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the Pirates lead off man. Key Brian Hayes. Next pitch is outside. You know, these Pirates, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Payoff pitch. Line drive, base hit, right field. Up next for the Pirates, Brian Reynolds. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out. Got him! Two gone. And now it's Rowdy Telez. He's already home. We're here in this one. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Tom Cosgrove. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. Brings it in for the third out. So one left. For Up now the Padre leadoff man, Luis Arias. The 2-1. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Ripped on a line to center. One away. Now the number two hitter, Ha Sung Kim. Bounced up the middle. Oh, he gloves it over to first. On the money, nice play. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. Strike two. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And the 2-2. Two -two. And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And that one hammered Taylor. Going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Three up, three down for San Diego. Welcome back. And now the DH, Edward Olivares. The pitch. Comebacker to the mound. Over to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. 
and a pitch. Base knock center field. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Next to hit, Joey Bart, the 2 1. And it's fouled away. Sawinski leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Michael A. Taylor, the next pirate to hit. The tying run at the plate. And now one and two. Outside. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Glenn Otto. He's pitching on two days rest. Pitch misses, ball three. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. The three, two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And that drops foul. Two on, two outs. Ground ball right side. And it's just foul. That was close. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next offering is foul back. In the dirt, blocked. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Come back to the mound. Oh, great stop. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Pirates leave them loaded. Score holds. Pirates with a new arm on the mound, Ryan Barucki. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Two two now. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. In the air, right side of the infield. Telez calls it in, and there's one away. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Ball to strike. The pitch. That Ball. one missed. Two balls, one strike. Hit hard on the ground is short. Tosses across He's the out. first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. And one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Baraki checks the runner. 
Profar back on a dive. Runner, Runner takes going. off. And a swing and a miss. And the Padres waste a chance. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the play. G1 Bay on the corner for a strike. And the count, one and two. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. 2-2 two, two down. Stays alive. Two, two now. That one missing inside. Ground ball left side. Machado. Jump throw. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good sinker low in his own right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Gonna count one and two. And a ball oh, evens the no. count. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Hit hard. That gets through. Rowdy Telez now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. And now oh. two and one. Two one. Ground ball to the right side. Goes to second. Oh, safe out. there to first, and he's out. So safe at second, out at first on the attempted double play. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in a ball game like this. Position perfectly. This one lifted in the air, left field. He's got it. And that is out number three. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Hunter Stratton. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Hayes to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. So digging in now for San Diego, Fernando Tatis. That smash towards center. Taylor makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. In the air, out towards right center. Taylor makes the grab on the run. Nothing across here. This Bottom of the ninth at the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. And he hits a ground ball right side. Arise on to first. One up, one down. Now Stepping now in, Joey Bart. On the ground, right side. Slings to first. Out. And the Pirates with only one out left. So two down now, and here is Michael A. Taylor. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Robert Suarez. But I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know the... Got him looking, and that'll do it. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.